Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Ivan Šarić and Marin Bosjočić. This is a game from European Individual Chess Championship, played in Georgia in 2018. Ivan Šarić had white pieces and he started with e4. Marin Bosjočić played c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3. E6, D4, C takes on D4, Knight takes on D4, Knight to C6. This is the Taiwan variation of the Sicilian defense. Knight to C3, Queen to C7, Bishop to E3, A6, controlling B5 square and preparing B5. Queen to D2, Knight to F6 and Sharic castle the Queen's side. Bishop to b4, pinning the knight. f3, defending the pawn on e4 and preparing g4. Bosjotic castle the king's side. Games with opposite side castling are always great fun to watch. g4, b5. g5 attacking the knight. Knight to h5 was played. Perhaps knight to e8 should have been considered. Later on, we will see why. Bosjotic played knight to h5. King to b1. White king belongs to b1 square. Rook to b8. Knight takes on c6. D takes on c6. f4. c5. And now, bishop to e2. And the black knight found himself in the deep waters. g6, bishop takes on h5, g takes on h5. Black king is somewhat exposed. But how to make the most of it? What is the best move for white in this position? Sharic played f5. This is an excellent move. Opening of the files will not benefit black king. Black to move. And black must be careful. Bishop to b7 was played. If e takes on f5, then bishop to f4 is uncomfortable. So we have bishop to b7. If bishop to f4 now, then black will play e5. g6. Black has a difficult position. And it is easy to miss something in the calculations when the king is exposed like this. F takes on g6. F takes on g6. Bishop takes on c3. Another way to go was h takes on g6. And after, say, queen to g2, then bishop takes on c3. But there was an idea behind this bishop takes on c3 move. Bosjocic is winning the pawn on e4. G takes on h7 check. King takes on h7. Queen takes on c3. Bishop takes on e4. That is why player with the black pieces, Bosjocic, chose this variation. He is a pawn up. And his bishop seems to do well on the light squares. Rook from h to g1. The obvious choice. Rook to f5. White move. In this position. Sharic played a brilliant move, but I will not ask you to pause, because this move is not so easy to find. But if you really wish, you can pause and find the move. And tell us, how did you go? Are you ready to see the move? Bishop to c1. No joking. At first, this doesn't look very special, does it? The idea is to play queen to e3 and then queen to h6 check mate. Rook to f3, preventing queen to e3 but not queen to d2. With the same threat, queen to h6 check mate. King to h6, white to move. Well, queen to h6 is possible. It's not a bad move, but Sharic played 
Super cool. B3. Threatening now. Not only queen to h6 check. But bishop to b2 check too. Black to move. In a difficult position. Bosiochich played. Rook from b to f8. This looks like a natural choice. This is losing. Better was e5. Now the rook on f8 is also a target. Queen to h6 check. Bishop to h7. White. Play the move and black resigned. Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Sharic played this brilliant move. Rook to d7. The deflection tactic. Bosiocic resigned in view of this continuation. Queen takes on d7. Bishop to b2 check. And the black queen is no longer on c7. To defend the pawn on e5. After e5, bishop simply takes, check, and now if rook from 3 to f6, then queen takes rook on f8, check. And after bishop to g8, queen takes bishop, check, mate. And let's go back. If rook from 8 to f6, then white queen still goes to f8, check. And after bishop to g8, queen takes bishop. Checkmate. Nicely played game by world under 18 champion and Croatian champion Ivan Sharic. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.